Now it's time for business news with Phil Martino from the Business Center. And Phil, your next trip to Costco might look a little different. Yes, this looks like a Costco crackdown on people who mooch off their friends' memberships. So Costco requires shoppers to pay an annual membership fee and show their membership cards when shopping at its stores. Traditionally, you go to Costco, you have to flash your membership card to an employee when you walk in. But that may soon become a thing of the past. The retailer says it is testing membership card scanners at the entrances to its stores at several locations across Canada, including stores in Ottawa, Edmonton, and in BC. If if you're a guest, you have to be accompanied by a valid member for entry to the store. All right, and there are some changes coming to Canada's internet landscape that could bring more options for customers. Yeah, this is good news for smaller internet providers. So smaller internet providers in Canada will soon be able to use the existing fiber networks of their competitors. Canada's telecommunications regulator says large telephone companies like Bell and TELUS must give competitors access to their networks for a fee as of February, but it also delays competitors' access to any new fiber laid for five years to allow for the large companies to make a return on their investments more quickly. Okay, and finally, Starbucks shares soaring on a Tuesday as the company announces a new leadership shakeup. So st shares of Starbucks jumped more than 13%, and that was even before the markets opened today. After it announced its CEO was stepping down after just over a year on the job, Starbucks says Chipotle chairman and CEO Brian Nickel will take over on September 9th. He has been CEO of Chipotle since 2018. His exit is effective August 31st. And from the time Nickel took over the top spot at Chipotle in March 2018 through Monday's close, shares of the company were reportedly up 773%. So today, Starbucks stock rose 24%, while Chipotle shares fell 7%. Okay, well, thank you so much, Phil. That is business editor Phil Martino. Nice to see you, Melissa. Nice to see you, too.